because if everybody does it today, I don't think it'll be as meaningful. But sometime over the next several months or over the next year, I want you to let Greg and Melody know how much you love them. Because you say, well, I know the pastor knows I love him. Well, he doesn't know unless you tell him. And so when God lays it on your heart, I just want you to let them know that you love them. And I want you to pick somebody in this church who God puts on your heart. And when God lays that spirit upon you, just let them know that you love them. And I'm sure you do that a lot anyway. And here comes the hard one. It's, I want you to find somebody out there, somebody that you think is probably a little bit of a jerk. Or maybe they're a big jerk. <laughs> but sometime along the way, God's going to put it on your heart. And you don't have to go say you love them because that probably wouldn't be true. But I want you to do something that lets them know that you appreciate them as a human being. That you care about them as a human being. And as many and as and I want you to go making yourself available for God to use as you go forth from this place. Amen. Thank you so much, Charlie, for that message and allowing God to share that with us. And now we're going to sing our final hymn, which is going to be the special music. Um, and so it's going to be hymn number 334, Blessed Assurance, Jesus is Mine. And Gladys is going to sing the verses, and we are going to sing the chorus with her. So I invite you to stand as you are able as we continue our worship. today. Thank you, Charlie, for that message and for all of you 
I want to, and I probably don't have to remind you that one of the special times of our day today is getting ready to happen is we're going to fellowship around the table. And so we will work our way downstairs and we want you all to, to stay as we can share in this delicious food and this time to, to fellowship, to, to catch up, to reacquaint and maybe to, to acquaint for the first time and get to know somebody that you may not, that you may not know. Um, and we do have our other opportunities this week. We'll, we're continuing to share our Wednesday night Bible study via Zoom, and, and we're trying to get that, again, trying to work it out to get it where it's going to be hybrid, and so we can do that with folks in person and on the, if they're not able to be there, to, to be there via computer and the technology. So that's Wednesday at 7. And now as you go, go in the certainty and the love of Christ Jesus. Go in the midst of your brokenness and imperfection, in the perfection of Christ, as He calls you and as His light shines through your face. Go in His peace. Amen.